So you guys understand how that inside deflection works? You guys starting to see like how the how the the art and the application are directly connected? Sometimes people train. Um, I hear this argument a lot, and, and it has validity, of uh, and I believe in it of uh, training art or app, uh, attributes versus application. And a lot of people say, well, attributes, you know, it's the artistic side of stuff, it's the artsy fartsy side of stuff, you know, uh, but it's not it's not the application, you know. But I, I disagree. I think that you know the attribute development side, training the art of stuff, helps you directly. Um, get the refined emotions that you need for better application. I mean, anybody can just swing a stick and hit each other. I'm not saying that's not effective application, but to get better, to improve, to be better than the next guy that can just swing a stick and hit somebody too, that's where the attribute development needs to come in. Do you guys understand the difference between attributes and application? You know, attributes are like, uh, like weightlifting helps build strength. Strength is an attribute. Strength doesn't necessarily mean you can fight, but it means you're strong. You know, so it helps you throw that stronger punch. It might help you hold that lock a little bit better on the ground. It might help you pick somebody up and toss them like a rag doll if you need to. You know, um, it doesn't. It isn't the technique that makes that happen, but it's an attribute that helps that. You know, um, and you know, there's there's a hundred different arguments that can be made in both directions on the two. But I think it's important to be able to train both the application and the attribute because if you only ever train attributes. Just the art, you never get to the application side. You never get to the self-defense side of it or the fighting side of it. On the other hand, if you only subscribe to the fighting side of it, no, we just get in there and bang. If you do that, you know, you, you never improve. You always stay kind of at that level. You know, you always stay, and, and I'm not saying that there isn't degrees of improvement within there, but you know, it's also harder to maintain that as you get older. As you get older, you know. The body just doesn't hold up as well as we'd like it to. You know, we're not the same in our 30s as we were in our 20s. We're not the same in our 40s as we were in our 30s. And you know what I'm saying. And right on, you know what I'm saying. And 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 right on down, right on down the line. You know, but it's the attribute development side that keeps us moving, keeps us young, and keeps us healthy. So I think that's an important thing to pay attention to. Mm -hmm.